Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the tasting the room. The tasting room. <laughs> yes, here we are again. And uh, just like we did the Heaven's Door a couple of weeks ago, we're doing another blind testing today. So we are going to be trying these three whiskeys, but we don't know which is in which glass. Steve's being shifty Sneaky. again. Sneaky <laughs> yeah. again. Technically, these are not bourbons. These are Japanese whiskeys. So you and I got on the topic of classic cocktails, of course, and we said, oh, what's a highball? What's in that? And so we were talking about making highballs, uh, and Japanese whiskey is like the main go-to for the base spirit for a classic highball drink. So we are going to do a tasting of some Japanese whiskeys. Now, Nika is the brand of these. This might sound stupid, but Japanese whiskey comes from Japan? It must be distilled in Japan. And, mo and I think at least 90% of the grains or something must also come from Japan. And it's whiskey because they're not using American oak barrels, I'm assuming? Exactly, yeah. Okay. So some of them are stainless steel, some of them are being, uh, they're using different techniques for the distilling process, and so they can't be classified as bourbon. The Nika coffee grain is my favorite locally available coffee, like to America. Dunkin' Donuts? No, it's, so it's coffee, C-O-F-F-E-Y, and that refers to the type of still that's used to distill the product. So normally you've seen like a pot still, right? You've heard of that. It's like the copper kettle with the little, looks like a moonshiner oh, yeah, yeah. thing. So the coffee still is like a big column, uh, like a big, sometimes copper, sometimes stainless steel, but it's like 40, 50 feet tall. And at each of those sections, that's where the moisture comes up and condenses and falls down the sides. So it's like a big, tall, looks like a smokestack like we'd see down at like Cordage Park. Nika makes two types of Japanese whiskeys. They make a grain whiskey, which is closest to bourbon, which is why I prefer this one. And they also make a malt. So they make Nika malt whiskey and they make Nika grain whiskey. Now the grain whiskey is made out of the same components as a normal American bourbon, corn, malt of barley, and rye. Mm -hmm. So this is as close to a bourbon as you're going to get with a Japanese product. Okay. Now these other two are also from Nika. This one is Nika from the barrel, but it's a little bit misleading. Normally from the barrel would mean we distilled it, we aged it, and then we dumped it out into the bottle, Yeah. right? So what happens is Nika from the barrel means that after they've distilled it and aged it, they blend it in a barrel and then oh. like do a, basically a double aging, like the wood for double oaked or the Elijah Craig toasted and some of those ones that are wooded after mm. the fact. Uh, and then Nika Days is a relatively new product. This came out a couple months ago and this is a blend of their grain and their malt. So the, a blend of the two here. A, no, actually a blend of the Nika coffee grain and the Nika standard. Oh, and this is the barrel. Okay. This is the, the barrel Okay, one. okay, sorry. So the grain standard product and the malt standard product are blended to make the days. Basically, they're taking a bourbon and a scotch and blending them Interesting. together. Interesting, okay. I think because I have no base to start with, having and never tried any of these, I don't know that this blind taste test is going to go it, well it, for okay, me. Okay, all right, here. Think of it like this. Which one's the most like bourbon? Malty, I think right? I guess malty is malty, one I could definitely pick out. I drink be a lot of beer. That out. You drink a lot of beer, and uh, the from the barrel is its own thing. So we're Steve told us we're supposed to try from the left to the right. I don't know why that matters to him because he none didn't... of these are like it's not like an aging process. This is just per Steve's suggestion. So he didn't leave me a a, a winner's envelope this time either. Maybe it'll show up while we're recording. So here we go. First one up. I, I can see a difference in the three colors There is here. a big, vast difference in the colors. This last one is much darker Ooh, than the other. smell. This... I was going to say, so immediately the thing you're going to notice about Japanese whiskey versus traditional American whiskey is that it's much fruitier. It's got a lighter palate, more of those honey yeah. notes and like 
very light, very tropical fruits almost, some kiwi, some pineapple. Those I, are the things that you're gonna I think I already know one. Get out of the out of those. Mm -hmm. you, did you just find not having tried one? not having any <laughs> no, not having tried any of them. I think I I think I know which one is the most bourbon one. I I'm gonna without sipping them yet, I'm gonna say this one on the end is the most bourbon one. Smell them all. I don't the most bourbon one is not the first one. So this is not the coffee one. No, yeah. And I don't think it's the middle one. I don't know. I gotta taste them. We should Okay, all right, all right. So go here we go. It. First one, cheers. <laughs> Oh, this one tastes like almost like a candy, not like sugary sweet candy, but I told you it's like, like a licking a lemon candy. Like tropical of fruits yeah. and stuff. This would go great with some zebra gum or fruity pebbles. You'd chips. have to drink it real fast though, because fruit stripe has like four point three seconds of. You get flavor. four chews and you're done. <laughs> Oh, here, come, here comes the envelope. Okay, we did get the envelope, we so get, we do know. We do so. have the envelope. Okay, I'm gonna say this is not the coffee one for sure. So I'm eliminating that from the first one, but I don't know the rest, so. Oh, this one is actually sweeter than that first one. Surprisingly so. Quite the burn on this, this fella. Mm. This one is very, this middle one is very drinkable. Very like by itself. I feel like when I say very drinkable, it always sounds Super rude, where you're like, the rest, filth. <laughs> I actually think the last one is my favorite too. Now I think the last one might be the blended one because it seems... To be a little bit of a combination of the two. Yeah, like this one is really sweet. This one's like really flowery, the first one. The first one has this like... This one, yeah, I, okay. Like honeysuckles and yes. like plants, like flower smells. There's no description, there, so these... No, there oh, is, wait, yeah, okay. there's... There is a description. Okay, so this one says, a delicate balance is achieved by the skillful blending of grain whiskeys and slightly peated malts. So like I said, it's a bourbon with a scotch blend. Complimentary for any special moment. Are we having a special moment now? We always are. This is a Nika coffee grain whiskey and then it shows the still. See there, you can see a little oh, bit yeah, there it on is. the back. Uh, distilled in a coffee still which is a traditional and rare patent uh, from Scotland. So again, so Japanese whiskeys use a lot of blended techniques. They like sort of learned from the masters of both Scottish scotch makers and American whiskey bourbon makers. And they've taken like the parts they loved both about those things and made them into their own Japanese stuff. So this one says uh, the coffee still produces a complex whiskey with a mellow sweet taste originating from the grain itself. That's the first one. This one does not have a description. This just says Nika whiskey from the barrel. And then there's a lot of Japanese writing on it. No. There is on the front. On the front, yeah. I think I know how I'm going to guess. I'm so wildly undecided on this, but I'm gonna take a stab at it. The middle one is the coffee. Yeah, the that's first what I one think. is the Nika, and the last one is the barrel. I actually, I thought we were going to be differing in opinions on this, and we exactly. Oh, do we? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think the first one is the the peated one, the middle is the standard grain, and this one is the stronger barrel one. Yeah. What's the envelope say? The envelope, please. The envelope says. Did we fail? Did we not fail? I farted in your shoes. <laughs> Number one is the days. Yes, okay, we're, we're one for one. Number two is the coffee. Yes. Number three is the barrel. All right. We okay. did it. That's, did it wow, again. good for Look us. And never having had any of them, I'm pretty proud. Like, <laughs> wow. How do you think, what do you, what's, how do you rank them in terms of your favorites? The last one's my favorite. The from the barrel is yeah. excellent. I think for uh, me it goes three, two, one. I love the tropical fruits in the, in the from the barrel. It's very like, like I said, like kiwis and like, Mango, like it's got those nice light fruity flavors, but it's still got the strength of like a bourbon behind yeah. it. It doesn't get wimpy. Yeah. I like this. The days is great. It's like cool. It's different. It's unique. They, they honestly, they all bring I mean, something really unique. The Nika grain is like, this is my go-to. If you're looking to get into trying some Japanese whiskeys, the Nika coffee grain is a, if you love bourbon, if you like uh, grain spirits like bourbon, the coffee grain is excellent. Do we know the price range on these bottles? Yeah, so the from the barrel is a little bit more expensive. The Nika coffee grain is like 35, 35, 53, 70. Okay. Depending on where you can find it. Honestly, 
all of these I think are excellent. There's not one I, I'm not one where I'm like, ah, I wouldn't drink that again. Every one of these. And they're all unique in their flavor, which is interesting. Cause it's like, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't ever put these interchangeably in the same I drink. I think that I that's think. cool about Japanese whiskeys and Japanese distillers in general is that they sort of all, they treat it like a true art. Yeah. Like it's, they've really elevated the craft of spirits to be sort of like they've become they've put their own essence and thoughts and personal preferences and things similar to how like someone would make a painting. And like, if you paint Scrooge McDuck, it's going to be different than how I paint Scrooge McDuck. This is a wink because no, I am a paint. The Scrooge McDuck will be here. It's my birthday in like two weeks. So just saying, but you know what I'm saying? Like, so each of those different master distillers really put a different stamp on the, the process and the, the different flavor notes that they're trying to get out of it when they're blending stuff. You know, with American bourbon and with whiskey, you've sort of get, the master distiller role is a little bit different because the process is more antiquated. Like they're saying, yeah. hey, if Four Roses has always put this much corn that's how much corn we're still going to put so the master distiller role in that capacity for like evan williams elijah craig is more about finding the product that best aligns with the way the brand heritage is but japanese distillers don't have to worry about brand heritage so they kind of just can dabble and like be unique and be modern and new hmm. and do their yeah. own stuff in a surprise twist of fate I happen to buy a treat for Steve today. If only we had the bag to show. We talked about cereal pairing, pairings, did. and Jill on her counter had this brand new Fruity Pebble Crisps. It's basically like a pop chip made of Fruity Pebbles. Yeah. So a dream is a what dream. it looks like. Yeah. It's a dream. It's like a fever dream, kind I of. I dreamed a dream of a life gone by. But uh, <laughs> we instantly were like, wait. Hold up, that would go so well with these Japanese whiskeys yeah. that we tried. Ryan thought that the Nika coffee grain would go best with these. I suggested that the Nika from the barrel would go best from these, and we're going to test that out. Coffee on the left, barrel on the right. God, is there anything better than Fruity Pebbles? The grain does really bring out those fruit flavors. Like, immediately, I, they, they, it's like it, if your senses were enhanced... This is like having the Fruity Pebbles with the Nika coffee grain is like, oh, I've got that enhanced sense of fruit flavor. Yeah. Mm. I think you were right. The thing is that the, the from the barrel is that higher proof. So what this is, I can't even read this because no, it's all in Japanese. Oh. <laughs> it says alcohol 51.4. Yeah. So this is like 102, 103 proof. So this is much stronger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because this one's 45. And I feel yeah. like you just get that like wow factor with the Fruity Pebbles and the from the barrel. Yeah, it's true. This is an excellent pairing with the Fruity Pebbles, but it's not a blow your mind like the from the barrel is. If you're a Fruity Pebble fan, it takes it next level. Next it's level. It's the alcoholic version of Fruity Pebbles yeah, that we it, always Yeah, and you don't want. even have to make a drink. You just eat the Fruity Pebble yeah. chip and drink some booze and don't you're you good. Don't you think that I'm thinking about a drink in my head right now, being like, what are we gonna do with these chips? A drink, a cupcake, a pairing, a salmon? No. Thanks for joining us on this interlude uh, of Fruity Pebbles. We are gonna do an in-depth Secret shopper. What, what are we going to... Supermarket we're, sweep. We're going to talk about it in an upcoming episode about pairing. The yeah. pairing of cereal with uh, bourbons. And we got a cool idea in that episode. This was interesting. I'm glad we did this. Yeah. So if you have a favorite Japanese whiskey that you've enjoyed, please drop those in the comments below. Or if you have any questions about the ones we tried here, I'm sure that Jill can answer them for you. I answer those questions for you. But uh, if you like the video, thumbs up. Consider following the channel. Thank you everyone for joining us here in the tasting room. And uh, I think we'll be back. I think we'll be back. I'm Next questioning week. our commitment now. I same think. bat time, same, same bat, bat channel. <laughs> bat cha okay. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Cheers.